Hello, and welcome to The Last Step. I'm here with Frank today. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say it's been quite electric here after Emily's show, and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. And yeah, there was a lot of healing, and it felt really, uh, really amazing, actually. But uh, happy Easter to you. It was, I was thinking when uh, Peter was sharing earlier that it was Easter and having all these thoughts of Jesus, and it's April Fool's Day, and I had this thought that like Jesus pulled the biggest, made a joke of death. So it was like, what a great thing that they line up on the same day this year. So uh, yeah, I have Frank here. I met Frank at the beginning of February. He came down and we actually started talking about this idea for this show. And, you know, and I shared my story, which I shared with you a few weeks ago about making this transition from a life of recovery to a life of devotion. And, uh, you know, Frank, I would imagine you feel a bit like Alice tumbling down the rabbit hole at this point. So... Um, I got a choice for you. You can take the blue pill, <laughs> <laughs> and you'll uh, you'll wake up back in California at your ranch, or you can take the red pill and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. <laughs> it's, funny. it's funny when I had this thought came to me in the morning. I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> But it was actually, what are the pills? You know what I mean? When I actually asked him, like, what's it for? And it's like, this is the third step that I talked about and that we talk about. It's like, it's in every moment that I'm making that decision, which pill I'm going to take. And what's the blue pill? The blue pill is actually autonomy. That's what it is. You know, Neo had a choice to go back to his apartment or he could take the red pill. And then from that moment, what's the red pill? Letting go of autonomy or this belief in conflicting desires. <laughs> from that moment that he made that choice, he did not go on alone from there. His mighty companions joined around him, and he was with them until the last step. Trinity was there right until the last step, until the source in the movie took the last step. So I thought it was kind of cool to share that and uh, actually have Frank share a bit about his journey up to this point and uh, what led him to the moment I got to meet him down at La Casa at our uh, Adventure into the Heart of Awakening retreat. So... Frank. Yeah, I got, um, actually just before I, I got very emotional because I realized that um, I finally found, you know, what I've been asking for, um, a, a method and a way to get there because I came, you know, I came through the doors of heaven or you know in uh, in 84 when i uh when i got uh, um, clean and sober and through the 12 steps and you know i saw this word god everywhere and, and the spiritual awakening I said well that's not going to happen to me but it's all i ever wanted and um you know i my biggest prayer has always been what is it that I'm still hanging on to, you know, that's keeping me from that um, promise in the 12th step where it says having had a spiritual awakening, you know, and really, you know, I've been going, well, uh, it's been, what date is it today? First. It's, it's the first? <laughs> no, you're kidding. No. It's, well, it's 34 years today that I... <laughs> That's, okay. <laughs> April 1st. <laughs> so, so, so uh, you know, the, the, this is something I, I realized in the 12th step. It's actually, it's a very, very profound teaching. You know, it asks a lot. And it asks in the third step already. And it's the first thing you see when you walk into meetings um, is give my will and my life over to the care of God. What else is there? You know, th that's it. And then in the 11th step, it says only pray, praying for knowledge of his will and the power to carry that out. So that completely um, leaves Frank out of the picture, you know, <laughs> but I didn't know how to do that. And I always thought, you know, if you would have asked me, do you want enlightenment? Yes, of course I want it. But what I didn't know was the fear I had, you know, and this is what I'm learning in the course. There's so much fear and resistance um, because now, you know, I'm really, you know, there with the tools and 
And it's, you know, the, the program talks about letting go absolutely. And I say, yeah, yeah, I'm letting go absolutely. But now, am I, you know? Is what am I still holding on to? And, and I, I realize, whoa, this is scary, you know? So the rabbit hole is, is, um, is the right word, you know? And, and so, so that was, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've been looking at many teachings, metaphysical teachings, that just came my way. And I didn't know how to get there. You know, I was studying those for years and years. And it brought me to the course eventually, so that I could understand what the collapse of the world means. I just didn't know how to get there. You know, I always said, it's like, uh, you know, I'm sitting there and there's people snowboarding across the lake or across a space where I can get to and I can talk for hours about snowboarding. I actually don't do it. And now the, the course is, you know, now you get there and, and, and you do it. And that's the lessons for me. It was really the lessons, the unwinding of the ego. Also, one of the things, you know, the, the, the 12 steps talks about one thing we all have in, in common, I guess, in those meetings is this extreme unworthiness, you know, not being enough. And, um, and that's why there's so many egos. There's a lot of egos in, in the 12 steps and they're really strong in this. And, but it's so, um, divinely guided. And you look at the personalities, how can these crazy people have this amazing thing, you know, that works. It's so divine inspired and just, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's a perfect, um, so we had to, because it's principle because the personalities couldn't do it. You know, there is, um, there is an amazing, um, unity, you know, and, um, and it's not, you know, it, it is the one, you know, it's, and, and at the meetings we read at every meeting, there is one that has all power. And then the word one comes again. It says that one is God. May you find him now, you know, yesterday or before we heard an excerpt of David speaking. It's simple. You know, the now is simple. It's really simple. What's complicated is the future and the past and all the mind screw that goes with it. But, but you know, so what I'm learning now is the trust, you know, absolute trust. So even though I thought I was pretty surrendered. And I, I must have been, you know, to get here to a point, but I was try just still trying to control everything. And, 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 uh, and now this trust is really what I'm looking at and where I'm going. You know, I, I just trust the moment without controlling it, even in thought. I mean, that's, that's, that's the, the aim. And, um, and that's scary. That is scary, you know, mm. but that fear, I can recognize that fear and just know mm. it's ego. Yeah. You talk about uh, that line, which comes right before they read the steps in 12 step programs. And in the book originally he said, may you find it, the, may you find him now. Mm -hmm. Actually, Bill Wilson that wrote the book wrote it originally. You must find him now. Mm -hmm. They changed it because they're like, nobody's going to listen to must. And it was mm -hmm. until after the third step that they put musts into the book. Until we surrendered our will, then they start saying, you must do this, you must. Because before that, it was this, you know, this resistance and stuff. Too much ego with addicts, you know, they don't like to be told what to do. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I had a bit of a problem asking an addict to take which pill to take. Too, right, right. I, I knew which pill to take. But, you know, I've always been wanting to take that pill, but as I said, it was, um, you know, the, there's a, the, the practice now is so clear and it goes so deep. Um, You know, the, the, and, and I think one of the, see, I always thought the program was when I came was a change of behavior. Okay. Now I've done all this bad stuff and it made me use and now I have to be good. And I did that for years. And that's, that's just the ego trying to be good. And it's very frustrating. And it's actually, you know, it's like trying to hold a spring down and you can hold it and hold it and hold it. And then 
boom, it comes up. And then <laughs> what happens is binging of bad behavior, you know, because I'm trying to control, you know, the ego is trying to control it. So then I realized, you know, it is a, you know, the book, the, the, the big book says this book has been written for one reason only is to find God. And the whole practice is in that, um, you know, in the 11th step where it says sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God, asking only for his will for us and the power to carry that out. And that is so huge. That is so huge, you know. And, and, and the book also says, we're children of God. You know, we read this stuff and, and then, you know, well, I, even that, that sentence I said, you know, there's one that has all power, that one is God. May you find him out. I said, well, good for him. I hope he likes me. You know, so I'm going to really behave now. And, um, and I, I spent years doing that, you know, trying. You can't do it. But um, <laughs> yeah. can't do it. I talked about that in the first show that <laughs> um, a lot gets caught up in behavior modification, right, you know, right. within the 12 steps. And it's actually brings it back to what we're talking about, this decision in each moment, mm -hmm. you know, that actually is the change of mind. Yeah. And then everything it says, if once we're spiritually, then we straighten out mentally and physically. But even with that, it was funny this morning, I, I went out and I meditated and I'm like, all right, can I have Frank on the show? What are we going to talk about? And I shared it with everyone the first week that I was on my, myself is that the reason I'm so attracted to A Course in Miracles and certainly ultimately to community was relationship, you know, and the 12 steps is repairing our relationships. And now I'm giving and Frank is a relationship that's been given. We had a lot in common when he first walked into La Casa. He was, I think you were late for the, the session. It was a Wednesday Chautauqua. Yeah. And there was one seat right up front in front of David. And he just came in and he's like, I'm late. And I'm like, no, we've been waiting for you. And you came in. And it was like that story I shared with this guy, John, I had back home that it was an immediate feeling like, oh, and I hadn't known yet that he had been through 12 steps and all that for, you know, until that time. But there was this immediate connection and it was like, all right. And then sure enough, we started to join throughout that retreat and, He's been taking some big steps. He bought a home down here and started to take those those steps. And we've been joining on this stuff a lot like a sponsor relationship, like mm -hmm. sponsors and sponsees, you know, speaking with one another. But it really is about that relationship. And what I the line that came to me was in the second step. You know, me and Frank are we'd say that we're addicted to uh, blue books because all our books all our books are are blue. <laughs> But at the end, this is beautiful. My, my, uh, my sponsor, Big Book Bill, had me write in my, uh, in my step book. And the line is, true humility. And what's true humility? I don't know. That's as simple as that. True humility and an open mind can lead us to faith. Because this is at the second step, which is came to believe that I could be restored to sanity. Then it says, and every meeting is an assurance that God will restore us to sanity if we rightly relate ourselves to him. And my sponsor had me right underneath this. How am I rightly relating to others? I had the question here and I had to answer it every day. And that's the, that's the solution that I relate. The way I relate to others is the way I relate to God. And now I don't go to meetings anymore. We call it joining here. And it's always every time we join, we're two or more joined. Spirit comes in. That's the humility. When I don't know, I, when I can say, I don't know, what do you think, Frank? And we, we join on that. That's where spirit comes in. And that's the humility and the open mind that leads me to faith. And it was funny because when I read that this morning, I'm like thinking about the relationships and you've been given a few others since you've got yes. here. And, yeah. Yes. And there's, um, you know, there's so many things I realized that, that I'm, I'm doing and so many, uh, you know, repressed emotions and so much uh, behavior that is just became automatic, but it's total, self-driven you know and and um so when we do these so uh, we have these tasks that we do like now i'm just getting the house ready for retreat and and um and i raise not about the task it's about you know because we constantly with laverne and i we we join and you know with you and so what's going on and 
And, you know, there's people, even they, they do it, they, they're on a project for three months or six months and then they give it up and it's, there's no, oh God, I wasted my time because it's not about the task. You know, it's not about the task. And that's what, what I'm, I'm learning. And, um, you know, the, the, the healing that I realized, you know, there was a point when uh, I was studying this teaching is the infinite way by um, uh, Joel Goldsmith. And I just, there was a moment when, when I thought, you know, I don't, I was getting away from the meetings and I got a very um, strong call to go back. And because there is such a deep, um, deep call for God in these 12 steps mm. that often you don't hear, you know, because we get so wrapped up in the life and then we talk, people talk about their problem and, and then the problem gets solved, but it's not about, you know, the, the sponsors solve the problem, but that's not what it's about. The, 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 the whole task is, you know, there's one power. May you find that power now, you know, and, and that power is, in you, it is you because you are a child of that power, you know, and that addresses directly the that that um, that uh, unworthiness, you know, that we all suffer so much as substance abusers, and in the meditation and in that connection, that gets healed, you know. So the the healing factor is only in uh, in that contact, that, that's where it is. Mm. And that's where I feel my call was for the last few years is to go, because I travel a lot, to, to go and share that, you know, really share my experience. Um, and now, you know, since I'm here, things have been going so fast, you know, it's just, it's really, I mean, even the, the house I bought, we call it, Casa Quantico, because it was <laughs> a quantum experience, you know, it went blah, blah, blah. We had actually, after the retreat, uh, I had a plane leaving at 6.30, <laughs> and, yeah. and the retreat was over at 11, and between that, yeah. and, you know, and then I said, Jeffrey, I need, <laughs> I need to be at the airport by 5.30, right. and we, we right. bought the house. Sign the paper, as you put the pen down. <laughs> Looking on my watch, okay, I got it. <laughs> Because I, had, you know, I had to get back, but it felt so right, you know. It felt, uh, uh, and and I'm 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 so so happy, you know, to to be, mm. um, you know, on this. Yeah, it's like that red pill you gave me. Yeah, I can feel it now. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know, and it, it's been like that. And there's some things that happen, you know, like I think about something and then, uh, you know, the other day I thought, thought about, and then David, I, I, I hadn't thought about for 15 years and then David mentions it at the table, yeah. you know, and this is, this is the mind, you know, it's just, it's, just one mind. That's it. Welcome so to the miracle. Everything. That's the miracle. You know, that's the miracle. But I have to say that miracle is also promised in the 12 steps, mm. having had a spiritual awakening, you know, so it promises that, but the, the, the course is such a fast track to it, you know, because I have to unwind my ego. I don't have to fix my ego. I don't have to fix myself. Um, Uta this morning said, you know, just let me be, what is it? Let me be replaced by you. Yeah. That's, that's what I want. You know, yeah. that's really what I want. And I know the ego doesn't want that. And I feel that I can feel it. But now I know this is not me, you know, and I must have said things like that often at meetings because there's a meeting, an NA meeting in Switzerland. When I come in, they say, Oh, hi, I'm not even Frank, because I must have said that, you know, because when I realized my true nature, I'm not even Frank, I'm not Frank, you know, Frank doesn't exist, because there's only, there's only the Christ, mm. you know, that is my nature, what, what is behind it all is the Son of God, what is the Son of God, pure spirit, 
you know. And sometimes when I go uh, into, you know, the thought of that, into a meditation, I realize that, that the I that I am doesn't care about anything but love. Mm. It doesn't, you know, the last time I had a really deep experience was in an airplane. I'm not even in an airplane, you know. Mm. It doesn't, it that's who I am. That's who I truly am. And then, you know, then it got bumpy. And then the ego comes back, Whoa! you know, and there's, it's like, but there's absolutely no risk here, you know, because I am yeah. Yeah, you talk the about, Christ. Yeah, we talk about a lot of the... Today on Easter. Yeah. Risen. Yes. <laughs> You know, and we talk a lot about <laughs> we talk a lot about the twelve steps because there is because there's certain parts in there that they say we we practice you know and it's we claim progress not perfection and every time I read that I'm like how about we claim perfection yeah. and settle for progress I don't use the word settle either but there's certain lines in there like even in the end of the step book this retranslation of what ambition is because growing up you know as what ambition you know looked like and to work and do everything they actually say in the step book they say true ambition is the deep desire to live usefully and walk humbly under the grace of god and when i first read that i was like i gotta show this to my father <laughs> that was my first thought but it's like <laughs> how do i do it because it was always what i shared on my other show too was there's a lot of no don't do that like there's there's a like it's almost like this don't go all the way and that's what led me to certainly here and to practice the course more deeply was this idea that it is all mind and actually bring you back to that because I had a, a lot of great experiences in 12 steps and I always said if it worked perfectly yeah you'd, you'd disappear like if it was absolute mm -hmm. perfection but there was a I had a lot of people that was like oh don't leave your job originally I'm like oh, I can't go back you know what I mean so there were certain points for me that I knew I had to actually make those decisions like even for here your decision points where it looked like a house and certain things but what led you to the first retreat like i know you've gone to one in europe and then yeah uh, i mean that also went super fast because you know i was um uh last just before christmas it was in 16 i was struggling through i have to say i, I really struggled through mary baker eddie's science and health you know, and I saw, oh, yeah, I want this, I want this, but how do I get there? And finally, I was on my knees. I took the book, I threw it against the wall. I thought, what is this? You know, it's just, I've been led on by a carrot, but I can't get there, you know? And I, I tore it up and I was, I was this close to suicide. And, um, <clears throat> and then on my computer appeared The Course in Miracles. And I thought, wow, that's, Marion Williamson, I have heard about that, but she wrote the book. You know, I didn't know. And then <laughs> David, so David, I thought, well, that's not Marion Williamson. <laughs> you, know, so let's see what, you know, and I went, I mean, it was just like, like this. It, where have you been all my life? And I, <laughs> and I thought, why did I have to struggle through all these teachings that really give you the truth, but don't really offer, I mean, what I see as a practice to get there. So from then it went really fast. I went back to Europe and I was just listening to everything on YouTube because that was, I didn't know about the website. I didn't know about anything. And, and I got to, to Switzerland and I... Um, was jet lagged and I woke up and you know and I listened to you and fell back asleep. And then the thought came, look what these these guys maybe go on tour or whatever. I, I, I was sure because I was saw David in a different setting. And so, you know, I got up, I went at four in the morning and and then I saw there's a phone number. I called it, you know, waited to seven. And then they said, Well there's it one retreat. There was three retreats I think in Europe last year. And this one was just two days. Mm -hmm. So I went to that retreat and, um, and something really happened, I, especially after like things opened up and I was crying and I told people, you know, this is the most powerful thing I've ever been to. So, well, what did you do? And 
I don't know. We just sat there. We touched a little bit. We watched movies. <laughs> you, know I mean? you know that thing with the age? Not really. I mean, it was actually very pleasant, you know, and I stayed in a nice hotel just next door. And so it wasn't, you know, like the Pasana or something. So, uh, <laughs> and, and then I just went to the next, you know, Kirsten's and, 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 um, and then this one, and it was just like, you know, <sighs> being sucked into this, you know, this uh, uh, practice where, where everything becomes clear and uh, not easy, uh, but, but clear. And what is the question, you know, that we talk a lot about uh, mind watching here. So what is mind watching is what's the purpose for thinking this? What's the purpose for, do is it for, uh, sep, you know, do, what I'm saying now or what I'm doing or who am I hanging out with, is that, does that have a purpose of separating me or does this join, you know, and that's, and actually it's quite simple. It's not even that hard, you know. So, um, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm, there's so much to say, but uh, I don't. It, but but I, I feel I'm I'm running with it now, and and you know, like I said, it was very emotional, kind of because I thought, you know, I I saw these things that, you know, these promises that I wanted, and and you know the metaphysical truths, and now, I've I've you know, I'm getting what I want, and I know that all my life I've been calling forth for these mighty companions you know and um and now they're here and um and you know before coming here uh because i'm going to be here for two months now i thought they're going to um you know wait till they see who i really am then they're gonna kick me out again you know <laughs> and and it's been so gentle you know everybody's been so loving and um and you know there's no it's a gentle process spirit doesn't rip you out of the you know it, it just doesn't you know it's it, it it's gentle, it's loving, and it's, um, and I feel so loved here and uh, very grateful. Mm. But it's not what I expected. I thought this would be a hardcore, you know, you, we, you need to do something about your ego, <laughs> and we're going to put you in a room, <laughs> in a bunk bed with 16 other people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because that's that's the way my ego. You know, my ego does not like me. My ego hates me. It wants me dead. And and I was confusing the voices. So now I'm getting to experience the love. That's beautiful. And and it is beautiful. Yeah, that's about uh, how much time we have for this week. But uh, yeah, thanks for having me on. I had the same. I had a huge experience at the first retreat I went to and I always said the same thing. It's the same thing with 12 steps. People are like, I know it works. I just don't know how it works. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was actually seeing the demonstration because I searched 12 steps for everyone. Like I, the 30, 40 year people, those are the guys I hung out with the big book Nazis and all that. But I didn't see a pure demonstration in any of it right. until I actually found people that were living the course through David and right. you know, the elders here. So that, I remember seeing that and I was like, okay, this I can trust, this I can, I can follow. So you, you just said in 30 seconds what I tried to say in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're together. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> so yeah, thanks for joining us on uh, Easter, Thank you. Easter Sunday. And um, yeah, we'll be back with the last step in a couple of weeks or we have a, we have a, yeah, three weeks. We have a weekend retreat coming up as well. And, so uh, it's great to see you guys again and uh,